right, guys, this is Terrence from Too Fresh Fishing, and look what has arrived for me today. Two boxes of Northwest Bass Hole Super Bass Hole Tournament prizes. And I'm going to try my best to unbox these bad babies and see what we have in here. So we're gonna do this as quickly as possible, but I am super excited. So, all right, let's dive in. Uh, all right. And I have a coupon code from Miss Jen Crevasi. at Jekyll Bates, and this is for a free lure. Thank you, Miss Jen. All right, so we have a few things in here. So I wanna see how, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. So I'm gonna just grab what I can right quick. Oh, we have the beautiful jerk bait by Mr. Lou Roberto over at Lou's Lures. Look at the pattern on that, if you guys can see that. That's freaking awesome. All right, let's crack open the first Ziploc bag. I hope you guys can see with this lighting. Oh, Yakov, look at there. Y'all haven't checked Mr. Yakov Levy off. Y'all please go over and check him out at HebrewTexasFishing.com. He is an awesome bait maker, and I love the content and the baits that I am seeing here we have a spinner bait from Yagi's custom lures in the crawl and blue pattern with the silver blades which is freaking awesome next we have from Lou's lures again this awesome crankbait Look at the color pattern on this thing. Phenomenal. Man, I know I am going... Oh, look at those eyes. I am going to have some fun with these bad boys. And I'm not sure who this is from, but it is a very nice crankbait. Red eyes. I love the red eyes. Can't go wrong with the red eyes. And I'm loving the two-tone underbelly with the soft pink and the baby blue like the hook trappers too. Sweet. All right, look at there. Kev, why did you send me my own sticker, bro? Thank you, too fresh. All right, we have from Angling Addicts, a spoon, a silver spoon, and this is an awesome little addition to it. I've never seen one of these before. It has the eyes on it. I don't want to open it up because I don't want to really mess around with them right now. But this is a bad little baby. I have to give this a try. We have another little crankbait here in the green and pink, which is awesome. From uh, Davies Custom Lures. Awesome. Uh, and y'all check them out on Davies Custom custom lures on Facebook and this looks like a okay I gotta open this this looks like a crank ouch just got stuck this is a crankbait I'm thinking yes it is but look at the pattern on this holy smoke look at that so y'all can see this. That is amazing. Davey, you did real good on this, brother. I really, really like that, as well as all of the other crankbaits that I have. And I think that's Mr. Davey Starkweather. I think, if I'm not mistaken, and here's another one. And the patterning on, on this is phenomenal. Look at this. Sheesh. 
Can somebody tell me what this is? It's cool, but I don't know what it is. First up from Hebrew, Texas fishing lures is the four and a half inch Texas Dragon Wiggler, 24 count. I really like the color pattern on this laminate. And this is a diamond tail as well. I've never fished with a diamond tail, so this is gonna be awesome to fish with. Okay, we have some trapper tackle hooks here. Six count of the two out, a drop shot live bait finesse. Awesome. We have the standard Eagle Claw wide gap, or it might be EWGs, extra wide gaps, yep. For the Texas rig. All right, lifted jigs. We got the net rigs here, which is awesome. I've been looking for some, some of these to try out instead of the ones that I'm utilizing now. And we have another one of these, which means I'm gifting this to someone because there's no reason I need two of them, but double the awesomeness from Mr. Lou. We have bass hooks from Vector Tackle, which is awesome. Oh, we got a nice swim jig here from Davies Custom Lure, all white. And right now they're killing the all white on the chatters. All right, so next up we have some Peregrine Eagle Eye Screen Cleaner. This is gonna go good for when I'm out there catching those big ones and I wanna make sure you guys can see them good. Thank you for this pair to grind 250. Awesome. And then we have a little Lucky Tackle Box. It's not from Lucky Tackle Box, but I'm lucky to have it. And I'm seeing some fly lures in here. A frog, which is pretty unique. And it looks like another type of frog pattern crankbait. And there's that thing again. I gotta find out exactly what that is and who it represents. So, got the Plano box for it to go in. And look at this freaking monster right here. A Predator Series CCL high quality professional lure. And I just wonder what in the world am I gonna hook up with with this bad baby, but it is totally awesome. All right. And we have, I'm gonna grab a few things out of here that I'm seeing from Mr. Davey. And here's another jig. We have a beautiful crankbait. And then we have another crankbait here. Mr. Davey, you have like really done wonders for my tackle box. And here's a, another dual set. And holy smoke, look at this. I gotta take it out and I know I'm gonna get stuck again. Look at this. They're married, guys. They are freaking married. How in the heck am I not gonna double up on this here? Look at this. You follow, I lead. Whoever came up with this is freaking awesome. And please let me know who did this so I can go and see what else they have to offer. Sheesh. All right. And from Yagi's Custom Lures, we have this beautiful one fourth ounce spring bluegill spinner. Bait. And I'm really trying to up my game on spinner baits. I've been using chatter baits this year for the first time and I'm in love with them. And I don't have a lot of luck on the spinner baits, but I don't know. I think this might up my game, guys. All right. Let's see what we have next. 
All right, from Anglin Attic, we have another, looks like a drop shot type of deal here. You can see better the tube that they used on it now and the chartreuse with the silver blade on it. Pretty cool. All right, Anglin Attic's way to go. All right, look at the whopper plopper. And is this trout here? I'm thinking the color pattern. I think this is a trout pattern. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not perfect with this, but I'm really liking the style of this. And I might, uh, I think I might do real good. I really like that it has a slim profile body on it. I'm liking the eyes on it as well. I really need to find out who's doing this, uh, who has these bags so I can give them a shout out because they have some awesome stuff. All right, got these little thumpers right here. The little chunks from Yakov over at Hebrew Texas Lures. I'm loving the color of these. Uh, melanation, <laughs> awesome. Melanation 12 count, 3.5, 3.25. I haven't tried the chunks yet. I've been looking at them in Bass Pro, but I haven't tried them yet. But I think that now it's, uh, that I have some, I can definitely give them a shot and see how I do. Okay, so I have a few more. All right, here's the ugly bug. Mr. Bo Merkel and his beautiful ugly bugs and I don't want to take them out so I'm hoping that you guys can see them without me actually going in and messing them up and this is pretty cool Bo. Bo you are an awesome artist in everything that you do brother and I am fascinated by your lures and I'm thinking that this might be one of yours as well. I don't know and I don't want to take it from you but whoever this is let me know. This is pretty Pretty cool. Look at that. Man, I have so much hard plastic. All right, we have Yakov up again. And these are gonna kind of look like lizards here. Let's get a name on it. Oh, salamanders. Seven inch Texas salamander in the bass holes color. Eight count for the Northwest Bass Hole Super Bass Hole Contest. And I've never utilized a salamander, but I am loving the colors on this, brother. And I love how they look. You're really up in the game with these. All right. There's another crank, guys. I'm not sure who this is, but whoever created this beauty I really thank you for adding it to the prize box. It is phenomenal. I'm loving the, the chartreuse. It almost looks like a uh, one of those killer wasp things at the bottom. Too cool. All right, this is a big bag from Yakov. with a lot of large baits in here. Some sinkos, some more salamanders. I'm on point right here. So I'm liking this. Now, whew, look at this creature. kind of monstrosity is this? I don't know, but somewhere it's gonna catch some bass. And I'm definitely gonna be on the other end of it. These creative lure makers and bait makers are just outstanding with what they're doing. I strive to try to be on the level that you guys and girls are. Okay, we have another piece of art from Mrs. Jane Crevasi over at Jekyll Bates. This is a frog.
pattern and look at that how realistic it looks y'all please go over and check miss gravasi out on facebook and she also has a youtube channel as well definitely check out some of the cool things that she is doing she is a complete artist with what she does and we have another spinner bait from Yagi. This one is going to be more of a natural crawl color. One fourth ounce crawdad. All right. From Mr. Lou over at Get Hooked, we have a spook. And I'm just starting to get into spook fishing this year as well. And I've done pretty well with the ones that I had. And I'm going to love adding this to the arsenal. This one, even though it fell out the bag, is one of Mr. Merkel's creations. Another ugly bug. That purple is killing it. Look at that. Let's get this back boy or girl back in here. Right, the fireworks are starting, guys. All right. We have some cream, green pumpkin stick worms. Can never get enough of the stick worms. And you definitely can never get enough of green pumpkin. All right, this is Clydescrank.com. Oh, this is beautiful. Is this a bluegill pattern? Whatever it is, it is beautiful. Look at the stripes on that. Guys, if y'all don't believe me, I am stoked right now. And we have some Arky Crawling Grub Jigs. Salt impregnated. Well, I hope it doesn't have little salt babies. Awesome. We have some sp spider braid, or spider wire rather, in the tin, 110 yards. That's gonna come in handy for the kids. Don't know who did this, but it is awesome. Another crankbait. All right, we're almost at the bottom of the box, guys. All right, we have a segmented panfish which is very, very pretty. I like that. That'll go good on the light, uh, the light tackle. Look at how small these trouble hooks are. I might have to hook me a trailer hook on the back of this, baby. All right. We have a few more things. This one is another one from Davey. And this is, an, I guess, a twin to the one that I showed you guys earlier. So I'm going to be giving this away or the other one away i might keep the other one and give this one away i don't know both of them look awesome so just depends and from davy as well we have a all black jig almost looks like a smoke but i know that's just a light reflecting on it okay and naked tackle my son uses these types of setups and I've never used one and I really think that they're cool. But y'all go check out nakedtackle.com. And last but not least, well, not even last, there's a few more things in there from Mr. Davy again. We have a beautiful, looks like baby bass jerk bait right here. And I am in heaven right now. All right. And we have some bullet weights. And then we have an, by an unnamed provider, we have this. Look at that cone pattern in this. Y'all hear that? That's that good weight. All right, guys. I'm aching from sitting down on that floor, but we have to now get into the next box. Look at that. Prize box heaven. All right, guys, I want to show y'all something. 
Let me turn over right here. Look at the postage on this thing. $57 in postage. And look at that. $26.70 in postage. And this is for a first place prize box for one person. Imagine the other first place winners being just as equal amount in value and then the other people who won in the other regions from fifth to second to sixth place and the amount of money just in shipping that Kevin spent to get this stuff out to everybody who won and the amount of money that he has invested in all of this stuff for every person who is in the tournament, as well as extra stuff for giveaways and extra stuff for him to use and extra stuff to send to other people and extra stuff for everything. This young man has did an entire tournament out of his own pocket and because of the kindness of his, 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 his good heart. And it's insane how much he gives without asking for anything in return. And then on top of that, I'm one of the sponsors who he spent money with in order to provide my baits for the contest, as well as four to five other pr proprietors that he is paying out of his own pocket to purchase these baits, aside from the, the few baits that we've contributed on, out of our own pocket. He is spending his money to help, or he, he's, he's taking his time to go out and promote all of the things that we do just because he believes that what we do is worth him taking his time out to promote that. Uh, Kevin, you are an awesome gentleman guy, and I just want to tell you thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to be a part of what you're doing and as well uh, as taking a liking to what I do and supporting what I do uh, because you help me grow with your support. And I never want you to ever forget that I am grateful for everything that you have done, brother. So, yeah. All right, with that being said, let's get back into numero dos. All right, guys, I don't know what's inside this box, but I am looking forward to finding out. here. I don't know if it's baits or what. Oh, I know what this is. Yeah, buddy. I think I have a feeling of what I know what this is, guys. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at here. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Look at it. Oh, let me get this up. Look at this freaking awesomeness right here. Holy smoke. Guys, I am 47, and this is my first ever bass trophy of any kind this is super classic and it is going right on my wall and this piece of beauty came from mr ross myers over at bass trophies online.com dude you have made my life much better 
with this. This is like bragging rights all the way over. This is totally, totally, totally awesome. And I am so ecstatic right now because of this. Look at that. That is beautiful. Third annual Super Bass Hole Fishing Tournament, March the 20th through June 30th, 2020. Largest bass caught nationally. And that was a 9.96 pound big mama. Looked a little bit bigger than her, but this is awesome. So guys, here is my first place box of beauties right here. And I am totally, totally happy with what I have. All right, guys, look at this beauty. Super stoked about this. I am grateful to be a first place winner for Region 6, representing the Two Fresh Squad. And along with my happiness of receiving mine, I am also stoked that my entire squad took over the entire sixth region. And we did it big, guys. So from first to sixth place, all went to Two Fresh Pro staff members and the two fresh squad and if we would have had from first to probably ninth or tenth we still would have held it down so uh big ups to everybody who participated and uh we're gonna do this thing again next year look at this guys sexiness that's the the look of a happy man guys Thank y'all for tuning in to check out this unboxing of my awesomeness. And everybody remember to go out and subscribe to Northwest Bass Holes as well as check out the Super Bass Holes Tournament Facebook page and Mr. Kevin Wilson. And check out all of the proprietors that I showed you in the video as well as ones that you're going to be seeing from other people who are going to be posting that are have been uh, also winners of the first to sixth place prizes for the Northwest Bass Hole Super Bass Hole Contest. Guys, you guys have a blessed one. And as always, no matter where you are, you are always Northwest of somewhere. Have a good one.